I'm Coach Pratt, and I've helped develop FTC teams to win both the Inspire Award and the Winning Alliance Captain in the Netherlands National Championship region. Today, we're talking about another type of intake design, uh, specifically talking about a geared servo claw and some of the plus and minuses about making a claw using gears and why you might want to try that in your design. Take a look at this design. Uh, all it is, it's a simple single servo motor driving one side of the claw. You have two tooth gear or you have two gears meshing together so that when the servo moves, it pushes one gear and, oh, I'm currently powered, so that's not gonna work. So that when one gear moves forward, it clamps the arms together and when it moves back, it opens up the arms. So you can rotate one server one way, and because of how gears work, the other gear is gonna rotate the opposite direction, so you can have them coming forward and closed as a cloth. So let's take a look at how this might work, trying to pick up the pixel object from the 2023 FTC season. So let's go ahead and plug her in. And now if I were to flip this around, I should be able to slide in, grab my pixel, give it a Pretty good little shake. And I've actually got a relatively firm grip on that. Nice thing about this is I can actually grab it from different positions too. But as you can see, it's maybe not the best claw at the moment. So if I were to improve this, I might take these claws, I might bend them in a bit so that it uh, slides in there. I might take these gears and maybe 3D print them to be a little bit smaller. Um, so that I can get a little bit more space in this as opposed to using the the go build a system it Requires me to open things up a little bit. It's a bit of an awkward spacing. So having custom arms might make things a little easier Another thing I might do is just simply add some rubber bands to these arms Clearly these rubber bands not perfect um, You might want to make it a little smooth, but as far as a quick rough and dirty kind of example goes I've now got a far more stable grip on this piece than I did before, simply just adding a little piece of latex. Now remember, this is just a seed idea. It is not a perfect implementation. Um, you want to kind of take this and build off of it and go uh, forward with it. But you might want to consider using a geared claw design in your, uh, in your FTC intake because it allows you to only need to use one servo and you can easily grip on two sides. So I hope that helps you with the robot and best of luck on your next project.